welcome to school quiz this is richard gar and today we are going to learn about irrational numbers this video is just an introduction of irrational numbers what are they and how we can you know uh, see whether the number is irrational number or rational so to start with we should see what are rational numbers first okay so if you know we had uh, two categories of real numbers rational numbers and irrational numbers now rational numbers are the numbers simply um uh, think numbers which can be in the form of p upon q where q cannot be equals to 0 one condition only q cannot be equals to 0 we can write in the form of fractions integers any numbers no problem with that so minus 3 upon 2 is a rational number 2 upon 5 is a rational number but what are irrational numbers irrational numbers if you study one simple definition numbers which are not rational numbers are your irrational numbers okay but there are a lot of conditions there are a lot of conditions you have to go through which are non repeating and non terminating square roots of positive number which is not a perfect square cube roots of a positive number which is not a perfect cube value of pi which is 3.14 but we are going to study this one by one okay so let's start with the first point which is non termi nating i will tell you the uh, meanings of the words through simple examples only okay we are not going to do something very fancy here just give me a second yes the first point non terminating what, what do we mean by terminating terminating means ending okay if i am writing some numbers like 5 upon 2 which is 2.5 okay so this number has ended the number has been terminated right but if i am saying a number like 100 by 3 which is 33.3333333 and and don't know how many threes are coming up so this number is non terminating so the first word we are going to learn today is non terminating so this 33.3333 the number which never end the number which is never going to end which is never going to terminate it is our non terminating number right second point we have is non repeating right if i am taking an example of uh, suppose if i am just taking a number 5.1717 One seven one seven. So what we are seeing here, we are seeing a pattern of one seven repeating itself. So this number is repeated number, right? If I am a num, if I have a number six point three two one three one two, then five six or uh, five three one. Supposedly like this number. Okay, what we are seeing here, no pattern has been repeated. Three to one is here. If three is coming back, but it is not coming with two this time, so the number is non-repeat. Now from this, what we have learned so far is the number should be non-terminating and the number should be non-repeating. So one simple question for all of you is: Tell me, that three point three 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 number is a rational number? Sorry, is a irrational number or? that think of this 3.33333 the number is non terminating yes we can see the number is non terminating yes but the number is repeating yes is the number not repeating no the number is repeating why because 3 is repeating itself again and again so we cannot say that it's the rational number it is Not a rational number. Got it? Now, important point: square root. Okay. If I am asking you the square root of n, hmm? if I we have a question whether tell the square root of n is a rational number or not, what you have to see, you have to see two conditions here. First condition: it is a positive number. If it is a negative number, it is not a rational number. Why we are studying about? positive numbers here but i am only taking positive numbers because negative numbers under root okay negative numbers under root becomes iota 
okay which is a totally different category of complex numbers that we are going to study in your class 11th okay so we are not going here we are just focusing on our irrational numbers for now so positive numbers right so positive numbers the n should be a positive number then the second condition being it is not a perfect square what are the perfect square and the pair the factors of the numbers can be taken in the pair of 2 and no number is left behind so if i am taking uh, like 4 okay so 2 into 2 pair of 2 it is 2 so 2 is a square root of 4 so therefore 4 is a perfect square that means it is not an irrational number but if i am saying uh, supposedly take um, 6 hmm? 6 it is 2 into 3 factors no pair of 2 is here or uh, two digits sorry so it is not a perfect square and it becomes an irrational number basic based on the condition of square root only okay we are talking about only square root right now then the same condition is for cube root also if you have a given number like cube root of n okay cube root of n is a perf is a irrational number or not so what you will do again same two conditions positive number then not a perfect cube right so if i am taking a cube root of 8 2 into 2 into 2 pair of three digits right so it is a perfect cube that means you sorry cube root 8 is not a perfect is not a irrational number based on this condition if i am supposedly saying 9 cube root of 9 it will become 3 into 3 factors not a third digit to make it a perfect cube that means it can be a irrational number got it basic conditions we have learned there is one number very special number we have is pi okay Pi, when written in the form of 22 upon 7, becomes a rational number. When it is in the form of decimal 3.14, it becomes an irrational number. And now you will see why. Because 3.14 is a never ending number, okay? Even if you take 200, 1000, 10,000 digits, it will never end. So it is a non terminating number. And the numbers, and the numbers will never repeat itself. You will be amazed to know that there are competitions on pi that how many digits you can find in how much time. And till hundred, till thousands, no one has ever found that pi has ever repeated itself. So 3.14, when we are talking about 3.14, it is a irrational number. Let me show you the value of pi. See. This big number you are seeing on your screens is actually the value of pi, which is still not ending, still not repeated. See for yourself. So we can say pi is an irrational number. Okay. Like, uh, so just to take an example of whatever we have studied so far, root 2. Okay, we are we will check the conditions with root 2. Now root 2, first condition, let's find out the value first. So it will be 1.4421 something. Okay, which is never ending. So it is non-terminating for sure. So first condition, non-terminating. Correct, so it is fulfilled. Second condition non repeating. Let's check. So, when 4 came back, but this time it came with 2, so the pattern has not been repeated. So, the answer is correct non repeating. Next, square root because we are talking about square root of 2. Square root of 2, 2 is a positive number. Two conditions are there. Positive number. Yes. Then imperfect square root. Imperfect square. Yes. So 
so the condition of square root has been fulfilled. So we can say root two is an irrational number. This is how you have to check whether the number is irrational or rational, and you will get to know the answers. Okay. I hope you like this video. I hope you have understood the concept of irrational numbers because this is very important for you to know what are irrational numbers to start with the categories to start with the questions of uh, irrational numbers. Go through it, and if you have any problem, just feel feel free to ask us. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining in. And I hope we will meet soon in the next video where we are, uh, we are going to learn some operations and something more about irrational numbers. Thank you.